we want to solve the following one-step linear equations. And we've already solved equations just like this using whole numbers, but now we'll solve the equations using integers. But the goal of isolating the variable on one side of the equation is exactly the same. So even though the variable is on the right side, we can still isolate the variable on the right side to solve the equation. So for the first example, we have negative 81 equals negative 9x. Since the variable is on the right side to solve this equation, we want to manipulate the equation so it's in the form of some number equals x. So looking at the right side of the equation, we need to recognize that negative 9x means negative 9 times x. So we want to undo this multiplication by performing the opposite operation to both sides of the equation. So we'll have to divide both sides of this equation by negative 9 to isolate x. Looking at the right side of the equation, negative 9 divided by negative 9 is equal to 1, and 1 times x is equal to x. And on the left side, we have negative 81 divided by negative 9. Well, a negative divided by a negative is positive, so this quotient is positive 9, so our solution is 9 equals x, but you'll often see this reversed as x equals 9. Looking at the second example, we have negative 8 equals x divided by 7. So to solve this for x, we want this equation to be in the form of some number equals x. Let's rewrite this so we have a little bit more room. We're going to have negative 8 equals x divided by 7. So looking at the right side of this equation, we want to undo this division by 7. So to undo this division by 7, we'll have to multiply both sides of the equation by 7. So we can multiply the right side of the equation by 7 as long as we do the same to the left side. So again, looking at the right side of the equation, multiplying by 7 and dividing by 7 is going to simplify to 1, and 1 times x is equal to x. And then on the left side, we have negative 8 times 7. Well, a negative times a positive is negative, so this is negative 56. So our solution is negative 56 equals x, but again, this is normally reversed to read x equals negative 56. I hope this was helpful.